friends, welcome to another thrilling episode of Crime. If you're new here, this is a show where I defend or recommend some of my favorites. This idea was given to me by a dear friend of mine that goes by Tricky Musician on Twitter. Give him a look, he's funny sometimes. Sometimes he's funny. But most times though. I don't know about that guy. Anyway, today's show is going to be about Titanfall 2. The game that should have been just a, a million seller, should have been one of the, the big ones of, of the the fall 2016, but wasn't because it was trapped between a rock and an even bigger rock. Those rocks being Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, the bet regardless of how you feel about Call of Duty, it's gonna make money. It's gonna sell. It's gonna outsell every game that exists on the market because it's Call of Duty. It's an evergreen game. The game is for everyone. Anyone can pick it up from 13 year olds to 40 year olds and above. I don't know why I'm excluding elderly people from video games, they definitely play, but I digress. And it's just important when it comes to time too. But I will deep <laughs> where's a hard? I will delve into that. But I will delve into what happened with Titanfall 2, so stay tuned. Titanfall 2 was released in October of last year, and there's just been a troubling trend of politics getting involved with video games. Which, I shouldn't say troubling, more so questionable. Because Titanfall 2 was a part of, a, of EA's plan to undercut Activision's Call of Duty. Which is a fine plan, I suppose, but releasing Titanfall 2 in between Call of Duty and Battlefield 1 was not a good idea. The game suffered for it, and it's unfortunate because Titanfall 2 was actually kind of good, surprisingly. Because the first one was was basically empty, it was a shell, it was multiplayer only, you know, any context you will have were between multiplayer matches. And with 2, they stepped up the game, there's a full single player campaign, multiplayer is great, the DLC is completely free. And not only is the single player campaign good, it just worked as a single player campaign. It existed in its world, it, it made Timefall feel alive. It gave pilots a reason, it gave titans a reason. And it had its highs, it had its lows, it had villains that you wanted to hurt, it had, had heroes you wanted to cheer for. Or, you know the, the the robot companion wasn't annoying or anything bd was was awesome he was a fun character to be be inside literally quite literally and it, there was a ride all the way to the end and it's just unfortunate that the game had to be released between you know two other big first person shooters and who would have guessed that Titanfall 2 would have been would have been you know a competitor in the first person shooter market at that time but the game received overwhelmingly positive positive reviews by everyone that played it Especially the story. The multiplayer was more was more sharp in Timefall 1 multiplayer, but the story was was amazing. It was they got really good writers to, to to craft the story beginning, middle, end, and it made sense. It wasn't lost, it wasn't paced weird, and Timefall 2 included some of the best level design, period. Like cause and effect might be the best platform level ever released. And I don't say that lightly coming from, you know, a Mario background. Cause and effect is has just been in my mind. It was such a smart use of, of that hourglass mechanic, of that time mechanic. You know, oftentimes time is used poorly in video games. You know, especially when it comes to rewind mechanics and fast forwarding mechanics. But it was executed so well in cause and effect alone. That one stage was probably the most redeemable quality of the game. And that's just, that stage could have been its separate portion of the game because it was so good. And it wouldn't have taken away anything from the core game. That's just how good Timefall 2 was. And it's unfortunate that it suffered the unfortunate politics of being released between Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Advanced or Modern or Infinite. Wow, we are, we are, we are here with the warfare, y'all. And it just makes me sad that Titanfall 2 might not get a sequel, even though the game sold exceptionally well eventually. You know, it's after, you know, numerous sales and a price going down. But I think EA, EA might not revisit Titanfall well, which is unfortunate because the game is good, the game is fun, especially with Respawn working on Star Wars now. We might not see another Titanfall until 2021, and that's way... That's no. Oh, I don't want to wait until 2021 to play Titanfall again. Titanfall deserved better, which I guess is the trend of games I've been <laughs> talking about recently, but Titanfall deserved better. I want people to experience Titanfall the way I experienced Titanfall. Right in there, play Titanfall 1 for two weeks, I enjoyed it, but I never went back. Titanfall 2, I can't stop thinking about the story, I can't stop thinking about Titan, uh, cause and effect, I can't stop thinking about BD. You know, the, your robot companion was like a bro, but not like a douchebag bro, but like a bro bro, you know? And it's just like, yeah, this is good. This is very... Let's do more of this, and it's unfortunate that we won't see more. You know, there was a little teaser at the end that there that BD and Jack Morrison might return, but who can say? Jack Cooper. Why did I include? Why did I say Jack Morrison? Why well, has Social 76 on my brain? Anyway, I think that's all I want to say about about Titanfall 2. Play it if you can. It it's always on sale. It's always under 30 bucks. It's worth the money. I 
promise it's worth the money. You will not be disappointed. If, even if you don't want to play the, the multiplayer, the single player alone is worth it. I so played it for a solid 8-9 hours and that's another thing that I liked about the single player. It was not long. It was short. It was manageable. I beat it in a few nights. It was a couple chapters long. All the chapters were paced properly. All the, boss, the bosses weren't too hard, weren't too difficult. I just, that means the same thing. They weren't too easy or too hard. The stages weren't designed in such a way that it's punishing. The stages were, were so well crafted to play on the movement of the pilot and the titan. So please give Kenfold a look. It's always on sale and all the DLC so far has been free and they are constantly updating the game. Like we are nine months removed and they're still adding new content to the game for free. Somehow. I don't I don't know how how that that works it's, it's, it's actually kind of confusing how they release incredible content just you know <laughs> maps and modes just out of the blue brand new titans brand new you know weapons and armament it's like oh wow really you're just giving this away not, we don't have to pay for this is there microtransactions in this game there isn't there's no microtransactions in titanfall 2 how this is an ea game they love that shit but please play titanfall 2 it's very good trust me welcome back like I said, Titanfall 2 deserved better. It, it was a victim of, of terrible, terrible EA politics, you know, trying to undercut Activision's uh, Call of Duty, but that's never gonna happen. Competing with Call of Duty is not a good idea. You know, you're never gonna be Call of Duty, you're never gonna beat Call of Duty, you're never gonna be the next Call of Duty. Stop it. Let, let, Call, of, let Call of Duty exist. And when you know that the game comes out every year, stay out of its way. There are a few, very few titles that you just, just ev evacuate from and Call of Duty is one of them. Don't try to exist in Call of Duty's bubble because you will get pushed out of the way. You will get absumed. Absumed. I don't think that's the right word for that, but that's fine. That's fine. Words are, words are, you know, just another cause and effect. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Again, if you're new here, this is Grand Cassius. Yes, every week I go through some of my favorite games and try to defend them and or recommend them to you today. Timeful 2 was that game. Please, please go play it. They're not, they're not paying me. I'm not being held hostage to say these things. I genuinely enjoy Titanfall 2. It's a pretty good game and it's always on sale. So if you, if you find it under, you know, under 30 bucks, go ahead and pick it up. I bought the game at full price at launch day and I do not regret it one bit, even though the price was lowered like maybe a month later. I don't regret my time. I, I, am, I happily gave my money to Respawn Entertainment because it was just such a great game. But until next time, be sure to like and leave a comment below, let me know what games you want me to cover, what you think about Titanfall 2, what do you think about EA's treatment of Titanfall 2, more importantly. And tell your friends, tell your friends about me, I'm very funny, I like to think, I'm pretty great, pretty good guy, you know, you know, I I, uh, I believe in climate change, you know, even though I'm not a scientist, I, I believe in climate change, you know, I, I believe in, in, in human rights for everyone, you know, that's, I, I believe that video games should, you know, be fun, should be fun. That's, that's what we're here for. We're all that here to have fun. I don't want to play a video game that's terrible, right? So, tell your friends that I'm here. You know, subscribe to your boy. Um, <laughs> but until next time, take care.